Hey everybody, just a quick little update, short video. If you've got the DJI Osmo Action, you know, guess what? There is a firmware for it. Now the firmware version is, the old one that I've got is 01.09.00.10. And normally I am very good about updating firmwares on all these cameras, or at least searching for updates because a lot of these camera manufacturers, they are updating the firmwares periodically. And with the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 that got released, I thought, you know, let me just try the Mimo app. I connected it and there was a firmware for it. Now the new firmware number is 01.10.00.40. And now the firmware notes, it talks about it optimizes color for more realistic and vivid color performance. It optimizes auto exposure algorithm, optimizes functions for the QS, which is a quick select button. So basically with this new function here, we get to use the quick button, the quick select button, and change between the rear screen and the front screen while you're recording and a couple other functions. But I really, I'm really interested in seeing what the color looks like and how it deals with this new improvements to the auto exposure. And one other thing that I noticed was if you go through the menu settings and you take a look, there is one thing that changed and that is a temperature threshold. You can now have it on either high or low. So I guess that keeps the camera from overheating. So what we're going to do, we're going to compare the old firmware to the new one. All right. Using the Osmo action on the old firmware. Seeing what the colors look like. see what the shadows look like there and then we'll try the new firmware all right Osmo action now with the latest firmware see how it looks see if there's any difference in the shadows Okay, now let's take a look a little side by side, the old firmware versus the new. You can definitely see that there is an exposure difference. And yes, the image is a little bit warmer, but the exposure, if you look at the shed especially, is way overblown. And if we take another look at the shed, and you can definitely tell the difference. Now we'll zoom in 400% right there at the bottom of the shed. You can see that there's a lot more detail. Yes, the colors are a little bit warmer, but it looks a lot more pleasing. So, you know, in conclusion, I think that the auto exposure has been improved very much. And now we want to make a comment about the video looking a little bit warmer as far as this color profile. It is the actual color because I just went outside again just to take a look and make sure. That, and yes, it is accurate. The new firmware shows the color of the grass accurately. So that's a good plus. Everything else on the camera works just fine. Hey, if you found this video helpful and informative, consider subscribing, give the video a thumbs up because it definitely helps out. We're about to end out 2020 and 2021 is going to be a heck of a year. I'll have another video talking about 2021 and some of the changes. But until the next video, you guys be good to yourself and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. And then I'm going to show you some other little clips from Flame. Blah, 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 blah,